Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Mrs. S. Today we're on page 54 and 55 of your Davis Digital Textbook and it says find patterns. Patterns are made from repeated lines or shapes. Find patterns on the top of cloth. What lines repeat? So this looks kind of like a rug or um, even a blanket that you might see or some of your fabric and your clothing. And this is from Indonesia. So there's um, it's made of paper mulberry tree bark. And already I'm seeing not only lines, but shapes. And a lot of these lines go a lot of different ways. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually create this um, pattern on my paper. If you wanna try the print a pattern on page 55, if you have cardboard and you have tempera paint, go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna look at these lines that I'm seeing in this cloth. So right away, I see some of these dotted or dashed lines that go horizontal. And they also go vertical. So these straight lines can go horizontal or vertical on my paper. And I'm using crayon, but you can use anything you would like today to draw. I also see a couple diagonal lines. So these lines are going a couple different places on my paper. I see them at the top of my paper. I see them towards the center to help make those triangles. And then I also see them on the bottom. You don't have to copy mine exactly. You can create your own patterns. Patterns is a little bit of a review for us. I'd like you to take your time, create a nice design using these lines to create patterns. And they repeat. So that's kind of how the outside of my frame looks. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle because I'm kind of seeing this rectangle using these longer straight lines that go horizontal side to side and vertical up and down. I'm gonna do that again. Kind of looks like I'm drawing a frame or boxes within boxes. And let's go ahead and do a couple of those three-sided triangles. I'm gonna do those towards the center of my paper. I'm gonna change how they're going just a little bit. You can have all of yours going the same way. There's also another kind of pattern around here, and then yet again, another box. So I'm using crayon, so it's a little thicker or fatter than what you see in the image, but I'm starting to change it, make my own. Add some more diagonals. Until I get a nice work of art with lots of shapes and lines and patterns. Now, when you're all done drawing, I would like you to color this today. And you can color with watercolor, crayon, marker, colored pencil, oil pastels, whatever you have on you. I think today I'm just gonna stick with crayon, but this would be really, really nice with watercolor too. You get that nice wax resist with the crayons. I think I'm all done drawing my design. I'm gonna start coloring in, and if you notice in the image, it's all black and white, but you can use a variety of colors. Show you, if you press light with crayon, you can go over some of these darker designs, or you can take your time and fill in each and every shape and every single line that we created. And think about where you are putting your color. We're not scribble scrabbling. Try to keep it organized. You can create different patterns with different colors. Of course, you can leave some white if you want to. I always start with black because it's a nice neutral color on this white construction paper. If you use dry erase though, yours might look a lot different than mine. I'm kind of going quickly. Don't copy my colors, make your own design. Fill in all these areas. My color. 
And then of course, when you're all done today, don't forget to take a picture and post to the Padlet link with your first and last name. I had a couple students that didn't put their name on their art last week. Put your name and then of course your teacher's name so that we know who your art belongs to. And I'm gonna add just a little more green. And finish it off on the outside. Alrighty, and I'm all done. Again, don't forget to post a picture to Padlet with your first and last name. I can't wait to see all of your wonderful designs. Have a great day.